So Gina Rodriguez, Jane the Virgin, was singing that very verse right there from Lauren Hill, Fuji's. Right, right. Uh, ready or not. And she got trolled. Now, I talked this week about Governor Cuomo mentioning I, the Italians were once they call, the Italians, they were the, you know, he used the, the derogatory name for Italians and okay. he used the N word. Okay. And he quoted, he said, I'm going to say something, I'm going to quote it. And I said, that was the appropriate use, not that you should use it, but I don't think, you know, he was being racist or racial in doing that. And Gina Rodriguez, she said, hey, what's up, everybody? I just wanted to reach out and apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I offended anyone by singing along to the Fugees to a song that I love, that I grew up on. I love Lauren Hill, and I really am sorry if I offended you. And then she got trolled for the apology, not mm. apology. And then she came back hours later, and she said, um, um, something. Sorry again. It was a long video. So the question is, if it's the song, and do you say, you know, in words, you know, in Paris or duh. Right. We she we ain't playing with no broke we he ain't messing with no broke in word. I mean, that doesn't even sound right, no. right? So I don't I don't so here's the question. And this and this is a serious question. As people make music, should they be mindful that people are gonna sing along? Should they be mindful that folks are going to actually repeat their lyrics? And is it expected, especially rap music, which is 70% purchased by white boys in particular? Yeah, ever since the beginning. Since the beginning. Should we not be mindful? Do you think those white boys aren't saying that word when in in celebration? A you know, thousand miles an hour. Now, if 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 it's paying, if you're singing the lyric, does that make you racist? Now, I feel different about Gina Rodriguez, even with her questionable racial uh, insensitivity, because I don't think she's right. an outright card carrying clans woman, and I don't put her in the same category as who is that Gwyneth Paltrow who was up on the stage with Kanye and them using the word. Because I just, you know, there's there's a level of privilege to her that I'm just like, chick, you know better. But honoring Lauryn Hill and singing, I don't, ah, I struggle with this cancel culture because sometimes common sense has to be used. All right, so cancel culture and it's fake outrage. That's what it is. That's what it is. For for her, from this example, Gina Rodriguez or whoever she is, who, where is she from? Do you know her? No. Okay. She she, she plays she was, Jane the Virgin. So Jane the Virgin was a show on, on the CW or one of them networks where she played a virgin who went to the with doctor. The braces and the no, glasses. No, 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 no. That's Ugly Betty. Oh, okay. That's not her? No. But here's the thing. It's fake outrage, and I'll tell you why. Um, you're right. You cannot put it in the music as much as I'm a fan of the word. You cannot are put you? it. Are you? I am. Why are you a fan of the word? As it's a part of my background and upbringing. Is it really? It is. Or was it put into you? It's Did the white man make you think that you were a nigga? No, who said that I was? Never said that right. I wasn't. But you said it's Never part of your background. Did I the said, enslaved fan, people come over I'm the on those fan ships? Of the, word. the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. <laughs> they didn't come over on so those ships. So you got to understand word, uh, uh, genia, etymology, mm-hmm. and, and, and where words come from. Okay. Linguism. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Because okay. when I said I'm referring to the N E G U S. Oh, Ethiopian kings. I, yeah, that you. Yeah, I heard that the somewhere. Grandness. It's in yeah. the dictionary. Uh, it is, but that's right some, I'm calling BS on that. Well, you can call that's that, BS. but I that's, said that's when, you when trying I, to make that's you trying to make doodle. No, I'm giving into something. I'm into giving something. It you, power. You making chitlins with the n word right now. I see you. No, you're I don't, not. I don't like the n word. What is the n word? Uh, it's nigger. It's nigger. Right. right. So if we're talking about it in context, you should be able to say it. Just like any other word in the English I language. I agree with you. So when someone uses it, uh, uh, singing along to the music, my only justification personally is if you've experienced that part of the culture, being somebody where where that was a part of your urban experience, then yeah. But if you have not, then no. All right. I think when you know better, you do better. Sure. And once we understand now that that word was used as a weapon sure. to destroy blackness, to destroy black people, to to it, there's no word in the lexicon more powerful and more destructive than that word, right? And if you know that, we can try to pretend and say, oh, we're making them, we've reclaimed it, we've reclaimed it, but no, we're making chitlins, right. and it's still entrails. Yeah, but so still at the end people of the day, eating chitlins though. They are, but that and cooking that, and cleaning them like they're brand new, like it's high end chitlins. They got chitlin sandwiches now. But what I'm saying is, from my experience, it's not something that I say outwardly, but at the crib, yes. Around friends and family, yes. In all your day comedy? Long. In my comedy, yes. All day long. For context and punchline. How? What do you mean? Give me an example. Nigga. I mean, that's a whole right. punchline right, right there. That's okay. a whole story. 
Right. You know what I mean? That's a premise, a setup, and a punchline all in one. However, people that use it as a crutch, every other word, don't have anything else to say, then that's different. And then people who culture, here's my two questions that I always ask non-blacks who say it, right? My two questions. Why can't we say the N-word? Why do you want to? That's the number one question that never gets answered. Why would you even want to? So that's that. You said you had two. What's the second one? The second one would You didn't have a second question. Yeah, because we'll the first one never gets answered. Yeah. So the follow-up is a mystery. You like that? No, James, not at all. Like that, that was some bullshit. That was smart. Did, that was... But, it, but again, to your, to your original point, if you put it in the music, if you put it in the music, you can't, we can't be mad. We can't be... We can't right, be, so how? why are we putting it in the music? Well, why do you, who controls the music? That is true, because I, I was thinking Barry Gordy, Motown, there was not nail, not nail one N-word in any of those songs, classics to this day, Stevie Wonder, songs of kid, like not one nail, not one. A uh, boy was born in hard time Mississippi. He didn't say no niggas. He didn't you, do any of that. He remember, gave you a whole story. You remember every Just, nigga is a star? From where? Every nigga is a star. Was that Motown? No, that, it wasn't Motown. No, exactly. But it was I a just hit. Had, it was I a popular Mo- I said Motown, oh, okay, and I Motown. said Stevie Wonder. Well, he, was, he was super crispy clean. No, he wasn't. He was, he was, no, Barry Gordy was smart. Well, sure. And he understood a couple of things. That sure. music gets in your spirit. It stays there forever. Yes. And if, if you're going to pre- present, this is why he was so keen on comportment, you know, training, arrangement, all, all that. of that, yeah, yeah, and yeah. even how the movement, it was precise because he recognized that he was putting a product out into the marketplace yeah. that would be there mass forever. Appeal. That would be there forever. It's uh-huh. not even just mass appeal. He was indoctrinating people into how they needed to see black people. So I just feel like at, at the point that we know now that that word was You're used. You're giving Barry all of that? I am. Yeah. Yeah, he just yeah. retired. How, I'm giving how yes. you should see black people? It. Yes. Yeah, he's very wow. strategic. All right. I got to, okay. You got to read up. You better read no, his autobiography, actually. Okay. Which I did. I actually all got right. it on tape. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. But hey. again, if it's in the music, we cannot expect for it not to be used the way it is now. Right. And I think, you know, canceling Gina, Gina Rodriguez, I think people just want to jump on her anyway because she yeah. said some reckless dumb stuff uh, yeah. in the past. And she has, you know, she said black people keep telling y'all not to use our slurs and stuff. And she she said some stuff about black people in the past that have been just a little bit, rec- a lot bit reckless. But, but see, in see, this case... I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, on a, on, a, on a surface level, here's what it is. It, this is the cheat code right here. I'm going to be honest. There's a cheat code. I'm giving y'all a secret, right? For the for the for the non blacks listening, right? For the pe- for for us that hold on to it, it's like on the surface, it's the one thing that we can lay claim to that you cannot have. That's why they that's why people fight for it. So so I can say it, you can't. It doesn't make sense. I'm not saying it makes sense. I'm giving you the the well, foundation. Why? So I'm gonna throw this back. It's here. just. Well, why do we want to hold on to a word that was invented? To destroy us. Sure, just like you, any other thing you hold on to that that's like derogatory. So you got you have other cultures that have slang terms that they use amongst each other. We act like black people are the only people that do that, yeah, and that's but not black the case. people are the only people still still at the bottom of the food chain. Sure, absolutely. And to us, we've taken that power and shifted it. And I'm not speaking for every black person because I know every black person does not agree. But we've taken that power. When I used it as a youth, it was like man. Right? If I say, hey, man. Or why not, hey, brother? Oh, sure. Brother's making a comeback, bro. Bro's here. Right. You know, bruh and bro. Bro. That's here. Yeah, bruh, which I hate. Oh, yeah. Oh, I. (laughs) Which I hate. I hate bruh. I hate when the girls say bruh. When do they say, when do girls say bruh? They say it to each other. Girls, the the students I work with is bruh. Do they? Stop, bruh. Let me get my lipstick back, bruh. I'm like, that doesn't even match. That doesn't match. See? But it's got to make sense. It's got to make sense. But that's just my little explanation for my experience and i felt like if you did not come from the american black experience preferably the 80s <laughs> you, I'm a, I'm you're a not call, entitled I'm a, I'm a to using I don't, it. I don't think i don't think you that's just rationale Cause, cause you, it doesn't you're, have to make smart, sense you're a smart guy yeah i don't think you want to give it up because it it's it's like a blanket it's like a warm blanket. it's like linus's blanket yes i just said that but it's wrong sure okay and so All is right. chitlins and doritos right. and you know, wrong just yeah. wrong all right. Cocaine. No. Yeah, but go ahead. 